My name is Katie Robinson. I live in Washington Square Village and I'm from Northeast Georgia. I'm Jacopo. I live in Stite Town and I'm from Italy. Next question. Hi, I'm Tom Campbell. I live in Washington Square Village and I'm from California. So my favorite part about living in grad halls uh, so far was joining grad hall council and eventually being able to MC for grad hall live. My favorite part about living in grad halls this year has been how close I am to campus. My favorite thing of Side Town, I think, is like going out in the morning and having like plenty of choices on how to get to campus. You can go by train, you can go by MTA bus, you can go by NYU bus, there is Route C going around Side Town. Hi, uh, my name is Nan, I live in Washington Square Village and I'm from China. There are a variety of events organized by creative and energetic RAs. I'm Mike Abley, I lived in Stytown, and I'm from Albany, New York. My favorite uh, program was probably the happy hours uh, that they had on Fridays that allowed you to meet other PhD students, uh, make friends, different departments, um, have some interesting conversations. I went to a wonderful program at the beginning of the year uh, took a class at Yoga to the People and it was nice because I was kind of hesitant to go by myself and I was able to go with a group of people. Also we had uh, Game of Thrones nights every Sunday uh, when the season's airing so that's also pretty cool. Hi, I am Robbie Croft and I lived in Washington Square Village 1. I'm from Portland, Oregon originally. Uh, the grad areas are really cool. They're very like open and personable and they kind of make the transition into Manhattan life very easy. Uh, my RA, Jim Bisbee, is the man. The grad RAs are wonderful. From the moment that I walked in the door, I actually felt very welcome. I didn't feel like I was being treated like a child, even though I did feel very guided, and it was very nice to be able to feel uh, held in that way. I can tell you about like my, my own RA, James. I think like James is amazing. He's like, I can see from him how much effort he put, like, in organizing like fun activities, in like being friend with everyone. He also like send every week emails to make us understand that he always present. So my RA was David Sugarman. There was this one uh, one day where we ran into each other, and uh, I was just so tired. It was right before midterm. Um, and uh, I was just really touched because he just, you know, he looked at me, he's like, oh, Tom, you look so tired. Like, is there anything going on? You know, that was just uh, exactly what you should get out of an RA. It's like a friend who's not only there to show you cool stuff and run events, but also to be like a real person and to communicate well with you. So thank you, David, for that. I think sharing is like super cool, um, especially if like, if your roommate is a very close friend it really becomes part of your family in the city. Get in contact with your roommate before you get here if you can. It helped me a lot to be able to discuss with my roommate before we began living together our likes and dislikes and needs and pet peeves and what we were willing to compromise on and what we were willing to do together um, or not. And it made a huge difference in our relationship as roommates. Try to make sure you think in your mind that you're doing more than half of the work when it comes to the room, because that's the only way that all the work is going to get done. My advice would be um, always communicating and talking with your roommate. Uh, from my experience, as long as you have an open and sincere conversation, problems will be solved. Be open to venture, I guess. Be open to the experience of living in downtown Manhattan. This sounds like very cliche, but be spontaneous. Just get out of your comfort zone as much as possible and definitely make friends. I think the advice I would like to give to incoming residents, especially if, if it's the first time you come to New York, just like try to enjoy Stai Town as much as possible. I mean, like you live close to all the other PhD fellow students, like it's green everywhere, like it's super quiet. I mean, Stai Town has its own park. 
The advice that I would give to incoming grad residents is just taking advantage of all these events. Check grad house Tumblr frequently and just go join them. You will gain real experience of being a New Yorker, knowing more people from different programs, and just enjoy living in the heart of Manhattan. To go get involved in the community and just meet other people, that's one of the most beautiful things about New York, you know. There's always someone else who's interested in the same things that you are, and you just gotta go out there and meet them.